Welcome to Lunchbox Sessions, bite-sized industrial training. Hello, this is Carl from lunchboxsessions.com. And in this video, we're going to continue on with concepts that look at how to remotely control a relief valve using the vent port, labeled port X. In another video, we looked at a simpler example with only one remote relief valve being used on the vent port. And in this particular case, our vent port remote control is hooked up to three parallel branches, each with a normally closed solenoid valve following on to another small direct acting relief valve being used as a pilot section to control the main poppet in the main relief valve. On the top branch, our remote relief is 1000 PSI. In the middle, it's 2000 PSI and at the bottom branch, 3,000 PSI. Remember that the amount of flow leaving port X is a small amount of flow. It is only what is necessary to control the pressure above the main poppet to allow an unbalancing condition so that pressure from underneath can vent to tank so that the pump's flow can return to tank. So in this case, our system pressure is set at 5,000 PSI that's the setting of the pilot section that's bolted directly to the main relief valve. Leaving port X, if we turn on the solenoid for the top branch, what we find out is that pilot flow now occurs through that top branch. It ceases to flow through the main pilot because that pilot is set to 5000. Pilot oil has found a path of least resistance, that is oil leaving the relief valve finding an easier path, and in so doing, unbalancing the pressure above the main poppet to make it easier for flow to return to tank. And that is what is now controlling our system pressure at 1000 PSI. This is a very typical scenario that could be used in a manufacturing plant for, say, a press machine, where different pressures are needed at different steps in the machine's cycle. Turning on solenoid B in the middle, we see that our system pressure gauge is now set to 2000 PSI. Turning on solenoid C, we'll find out our system pressure is now at 3000 PSI. And so these electrical solenoids would typically be controlled by some type of programmable logic controller, and the steps would be handled with automation makes it a very easy way to have different pressures available at different steps in the machine cycle. Main pressure will never exceed 5,000 PSI, the setting on the main pilot section. Hey, I hope that's been helpful. Thanks for watching. We have hundreds of interactive resources like this live schematic, so you can try out your wild ideas without blowing anything up. Get started at lunchboxsessions.com.